Hey guys, Tempi Crow here about to enter a game of League of Legends. On the blue team we have Tango Twisted Fate, Zyra, Nightblade Irelia, Skarner, Jailbreak, Graves. On the red team we have Spell Thief Lux, Shaco, Sona, Angler Jax, and UFO Corky. 3 on 3, let's see... I... I'm going to have to say that the blue team wins the skin wars just because the Tango TF looks gorgeous, Irelia is... Well, Night Blade Irelia. Everyone likes that skin. Uh, that's like the first best skin that she had. And then uh, Frost Blade Irelia came out and everyone liked that. UFO Cork is cool, but not a huge fan of the spell thief looks. So yeah, we're about to enter the game. <laughs> it is 7 minutes in. Two kills for the red team, thousand gold difference. Switching to the Irelia going down. Nope, Jack's going down to Irelia. Irelia barely surviving it, but thanks to the minions and turret, she picks up the kill. First kill for the blue team. Everything out. There we go. In the bottom, Zyra going dropping very low. Skarner on his blue. Shaco or on enemy blue. Shaco is there. She's, she's going to pick it up. Tf uses his red card. Slows her down. She slows them. Look, slows them. Stun card is ready. He will probably stun Shaco. Dropped low on health as he took up quite a damage beating from Lux. He picks up a kill, kill on Shaco with his ignite while and dies to Lux's ignite. So that was a one on one exchange. Really are buying that Reaper Bow. Corky buying Preserver Graves. Graves buying Torrance. Shaco finishing his Wriggle Lantern. Skarner clearing minions in the middle. TF bought shoes and two Doran's rings. That's cool. Hmm. Two for three, nine minutes in, two thousand gold difference. Back to farming. Jax jumps on Irelia. Irelia stuns him. He starts attacking her. She drops to 50% health. Sona got the kill on Zyra. Jax is in trouble as TF comes to help Irelia, but so did Shaco. It's two on two on top. TF uses his blue to return some mana as that ultimate will will drain it. And everything goes back to normal. Shaco stealing trying to steal enemy blue. Hooks is there as well. Lots of pinging going on. Jax joins and picks up the blue. They couldn't stop it because it would be 2 on 3 and that's not worth the risk. So on a recall, bought Philosophers and some pink wards. They top didn't chase after Shaco and Jax, which is good. Let's see warding. Blue only top. Red really went for the offensive wording, so that's going in their favor, which shows by their kills that they gained. Bottom pushed. Shaco again trying to steal counter jungling Skarner. He's counter jungling successfully. Bottom picking golems. Shaco preparing for a probable gank. Sona clearing blue wards. 
And they go for the dragon. They did see Sona, so... Bravo, Irelia. I will pull back. Just... To see what was happening. So they were in the middle of the lane. Jack's dropping really low. Ignited. He flashed away. Irelia flashes after him. Chases him. He dodges into the bushes. Jumps on creep. Starts recalling. Thinks better of it as, she's, as he sees Irelia. He thinks he could take her as she duked him and picks up a nice kill. Returning to bottom, we see Shaco squandering, dying. Shaco trying to escape, still using the C. It's three on, three on three. Four on three, four on four. Looks misses her ultimate. So now pick get catches both Graves and TF. Graves dives to. Dies to Corky. Corky. TF picks up a double kill, killing Corky and Sona, and manages to escape. Zyra uses her ulti as well as Skarner, and TF picks up an unofficial triple kill on Lux. So it's 6 6 with 200 gold difference for the blue team. They're even now. They're slightly even now. Now it's farming. Looks picking up sorcery shoes and some wards. Everyone else is also going back for shopping. Zara picking up amplifying tone. Could be that she's going for the cage's lucky pick. Iralia getting stunned. TF in not that big of a trouble in the middle. The only thing he's lacking is mana to stay and fight. Could probably take Shaco. He is 4 1 with 76 creeps. He gets the needlessly large rod and some health pots. Irelia picking up cloth armor, bottom pushing. That could give a nice chance for the red team to come behind them, but they were warned. So they pull back. Irelia returning. Red team again going for the dragon. They don't. Blue team doesn't see them. Looks joined to help. It could be un un could go uncontested. As bottom is busy. Yep. Red team picks up the dragon, giving them slight gold lead. It's still very close. So everything's up in the air. The one thing that the blue aren't doing that good is warding. Irelia pushing Jax on the turret and dropping the she's dropping the turret low with every time she does it. Zara going down to Corky. And the red team won't chase even though they could as yeah, Skarner and Graves have ultis that could be slightly dangerous, but Graves will go down to Corky. No, manages to dodge both his ultis, both missile barrage shots aimed at his head. Shaco recalled. And Irelia and Jester at it again. She's slightly stronger than him. She goes in, TF shows up with his ultimate and picks up a kill. He is a presence in this game, being everywhere where he can, uh, he, they'll push that turret. He won't, as Lux is there, Shaco is nearing. They'll have to pull back from that turret. Next Jack's death will probably lead to the turret being dead as well. Shaco split using his ultimate. Graves killed Sona on bottom with the help of Skarner. Uh, Luke's picking up a kill on Irelia and picking double kill on TF. Makes her 4 1 0. On bottom, Corky killed Zyra. But he's really, really low. I think no. Graves won't chase after him, and Cork is recalling. 
Corky has 1500 gold, he'll buy... Not sure, he could finish Trinity Force, yeah. He finished Trinity Force and bought a mana potion. Jax picked up a Cutlass. There are some wards and Cage's lucky pick. Jax free farming top. Jax is on uh, 4200 gold with 109 CS and 030. He's still slightly trying to keep in the game. His CS is definitely helping him. Irelia very close behind. She's on the same CS with him, but she is 211 and 4900 gold because of it. So she's slightly stronger than him. Plutin picking up Gones again. TF picking his blue. Jack's clearing golems. Aaron's more or less farming. Um, the wards do help that the dragon did help the red team. There are two kills in the lead. Uh, 1000 gold in the lead. Almost 2000 gold in the lead actually. Corky clearing them up. Irelia jumping yet again on Jax. Bottom being pushed really hard. Skarner is behind them with that ultimate ready. On bottom, Shaco going top to gank Irelia. Zyra going down. Zyra surviving. Jax going low. Jax. to me, Jax. Graves going low but picking up a kill thanks to Skarner's ultimate on Quirky and Sona escaping on full health. Irelia was in slight trouble but she managed to escape. Luke's pushing middle. That turret will go down. First turret of the game down, 18 minutes in, and TF doesn't change but clear with minions. Corky bot. Nothing in particular, maybe a few. Excuse me, maybe a few potions. Iralia harassing Jax yet again, stunning him and attacking him. She's on 50% health, so is he. Special level. She stunned him. Sheiko is there. Not sure if she's aware of it. She wasn't. She will go down, but will she pick up a kill with her? Sheiko picks up a kill and Jax survives. TF compensates by killing that, pushing that turret and he will be chased by Shaco and Lux. They are going to see if they uh, can take their red, blue team's red buff, a uh, blue buff, if they want. Shaco charged, but TF used his ulti and picks up a kill on Jax. Stuns Shaco, deals significant amount of damage and pulls back. Skarner is here, but he will get his ultimate in the middle of the fight, which is good if they decide to turret dive. Corky picking up another kill on Zyra, but Graves manages to escape. Let's see, 5 2 2 on Corky with 149 CS. 50 CS versus 120 CS 222 Graves. Quirky is stronger. Graves is feeling that bloodthirster. They jump on him. Quirky using his missile barrage to get him, but they turn around to get the turret. Skarner and two could be four on two on bottom. We'll see. Skarner going in, grabbing Corky with his ultimate, pulling him back. TF is ready with that stun, stuns him. They catch him again, he's dropping low. TF attacked him again, but Graves used his ultimate to pick up the kill. And they go for Dragon. They clean that ward and they start him. They're ready, Graves is still here, although low on health, he's still around. TF trying to steal that blue buff. Failed. Well, yeah, 
be called on the top. It's going middle. Skarnel still hacking at that dragon while Zyra and TF put them away. Thanks to Luxus ult, Skarnel picks up dragon. Graves finishes Shaco. And Lux will probably go down to TF. They chase with the help of Aurelia. Jack's pushing top. He's going for his second turret there. That's dangerous, leaving Jax alone on top. Even though he's 0 for 1, he does have that Blade of the Rune King. Ruined King. And Zara goes down to 4 key as he Valkyrad right into her as she was low on health. 12 to 13, 22 minutes in, 600 gold difference, 1 turret difference. 1 kill difference. So everything's up in the air. Uh, let's see. Zara bought some pink wards. TF has his Rabadon. Rabadon. Graves almost has a full bloodthirster. Everyone's farming. Good exchanges. Ooh. Looks did looks as ulti did hit TF. Bottom turret goes down. They are pressing their advantage. The red team is pressing their advantage. They clear those first lines of turrets, laning turrets, which means they'll have better map control as they only lost the middle turret. Blue buff will probably up soon as Shaco is preparing that gank, that ambush. He deals no damage to Irelia with his jack in the box. He is AD, so that would be that. Zyra and Skarner could be in slight trouble. Jack's running away from Irelia. Skarner and Zyra catching Shaco. TF will come here. Uh, Graves goes down. Porky goes down. Double kill on TF as he finished Shake off. They chase. Sona picks up two of them. Luxus finishes TF. Zyra's ulti catches only Sona and Lux. Skarner goes down to Jack. Zyra will go down. Looks Irelia chasing, gets feared. Jax picks up a double kill and only Zyra is alive and that's barely. If they decide to chase, they could. Looks does. Misses. Misses again. And they go for that middle turret. As Zyra really can't stop them. Jax is going top to free fun. Graves bought Phantom Dancer and just obliterates or tries to obliterate Sona almost but looks saved her with, with her snare and ultimate. TF picked up his Leech Pain. Everyone's recalling and going back to farming. Zyra upgrading her sidestone. So I'm getting Shurelias. Got Bloodthirster. So that should be good, should be interesting. Lux is dealing a lot and lots of damage. She already has Rabadon, Athens and Holy Grail and Sorcerer Shoes with 502 and 200 and creeps against an 833 TF with 167 CS. Shaco and Jax on top free farming, middle people are milling. 
some blue words at the entrances so they can see where they are red words again barren an entrance to the blue side jungle another word at the raid camp but they have a pink word so they'll clear that up fast no oracles yet looks picked up hunting geese so probably go for Lindra's torment we could have a team fight now we'll probably have Corky using Valkyra to get out of there Graves is here as well it's 5 on 5 they could either go for a push or ooh, Zyra gets caught and obliterated by Lux TF using his stun gets caught, TF goes down to 4 It's so far it's 2 for 0 2 deaths on the blue team, 0 on the red They split up, chase after Sona and Gr Jax chase after Graves and Skarner while the rest of the team chases after Irelia They could probably catch them Skarner gets caught and Lux picks up yet another kill Shikok finishes Irelia and they go for that middle for the inhibitor turret. turret. Most dangerous players, champions in this match are Lux and Corky. They go after Zyra, who just returned, and Corky picks up a kill. Corky with 204 CS and 843. Graves in trouble, dropping really fast to 50% health. TF is there, stunned, and they catch Corky, but he manages to stay alive. Looks picking up the 8th kill, and TF will probably go down as well. Looks catches them, picks up a double kill, and they take the inhibitor. They didn't lose anyone. Corky was close, but they didn't lose anyone. They had an unofficial ace. They killed all of them, not at the same time, but very good exchange, 10 kills difference, 24 to 14, 29 minutes in, just very huge advantage for the red team now. Looks bot Lindra's Torment and the Arcane Elixir of Brilliance, not sure why I wanted to say Arcane. Shaco taking Dragon, Zara will see him. Steals the dragon, can't sh not sure if she'll be able to kill him. Lux is there and looks just one shot. Zyra, she just went down. Tons of damage on Lux. TF bought Chain Vest. And Zyra picked up Shard of True Ice. And that's one with the Wizard. TF and Irelia getting caught on their blue buff. Corky jumping in, picking it up. TF getting caught, stunned and nuked by Lux's ultimate. And the red team pings up for Baron. Sona has oracles, red blue team still has no oracles. They didn't buy Orcus. Irelia picked up Wits End, Skarner, Sunfire Cape. They ping for the top. 5 on 4, 15, 15 seconds to TF. They could do lots and lots of damage. Could even go for the victory. They are that much in advantage. Go for that turret. That up easily. Shaco harassing Zyra, killing her just for the kicks of it. And she is 0 11 forward, really, really nothing. TF stuns Shaco, and there's another curve. Skarner is going down. Sona picks the catching two of them with her ultimate. Jack's finishing Irelia. Forky 
picked up a kill on the enemy fountain on TF and Graves is pushed back. He's the only one alive with Zyra. He's going up. They go for the anal for another Nexus turret and that they finish the game. Zyra picks up a kill on Corky, who's a lucky shot with her ultimate. And Jax looks in shape with a continued hammer Nexus. And victory. Cool, sweet and very active game, GG.